In our last video, we looked at how to sort data in multiple columns using data sort and dialing up the sort order that we wanted from here. And I promised we'd have a look at this button, and we're going to in a couple of minutes. What I want to show you first is um, something that you probably already know. If, for example, we want to type in the days of the week, we can use the autofill handle to finish that list for us. Or you can even add months of the year. And we can either have Jan or January, and it will pick those up for us. These are called custom lists. If we sort this information into alphabetical order using a simple sort, what do you think is going to happen? Will it stay as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? No, it won't. It'll go in alphabetical order. So sort ascending, put it into alphabetical order. Obviously, that's no good. We want to keep those days of the week in the correct order. So alongside a custom list, we can do a custom sort. And for that, if I select my data, we use data and sort, exactly as what we did with the multiple columns. But we're going to ignore all this and instead choose options. There, we can pick up all the custom lists that are available. So there's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. We click on there and it will now sort it into that order. Click on OK. And OK again. And there we are sorted into alphabetical order. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. As I said, we could do January. Copy that down. If I sort in ordinary order, it puts April 1st. If I sort it in custom order, date, sort, options, choose the months, and OK, then it sorts them in the order of the custom list. Now, the great thing about custom lists is that you can create your own. For example, here's one I created about cars. If I start with car manufacturer Honda, and then I click and drag that down, you can see it's being populated by the names of the cars that I've already fed in. Now, I'm going to show you how to do that, because that can be really useful. Like everything, there's always more than one way. Let's do data and, sorry, not data, let's do tools and drop down to options. Lots of things in options. The tab that we're interested in is the custom lists tab. And in there you can see all the custom lists that are built in to Excel and any that you've created. So you can't modify the Excel ones, but you can modify the, um, the ones that you've created. So if I want to delete that list, I can just click on delete. Okay, and that's gone. So to create a brand new list for us, we've got to make sure we've got new list selected there. And then we just type the entries into here. So I'm just going to type, um, let's put Word, Excel, Access, and PowerPoint, which is the four ECDL advanced units. We now add that. And notice I press the Enter key at the end of each one of those. We now add that. and. Excel has now created this list for us to use. I then click on OK. Now let's see how it works. Let's put in um, Word, drag that down, and yes, it's filling that, populating the cells with, with our list. And of course, back to our custom sorts, if I sort this data ordinarily, it puts access first because that's alphabetically correct. If we want to sort it in the order that we typed in, in other words, putting Word first, then Excel, then we have to do the custom sort, options, choose the custom list from the list, and OK. OK again, and it's now sorted them in the order that we typed that list in, and that's important as well. So when you are creating your custom lists, 
make sure you get the order correct. Now you might already have some data set up. Um, so for example, you might have some data on names of, of famous rock groups. So we could have the purple, um, Black Sabbath, UFO, um, and of course the most famous and best of them all, status quo. Okay. If we've already got that data set up, then as long as you select them, we do date tools, drop down to options, make sure on the custom list tab, new list, and it's these cells here. See, because I had them selected, it's already picked up that cell range, B255 down to 58. If we hadn't already selected them, then I could just click the collapse dialog box and select them from there. Once we've selected our cells, we click import and it imports the list in the order that it was typed in. Click on OK and we can now use that list to create lists. Again, an ordinary sort. Sorts them in a particular order, in alphabetical order, I should say. Doing the custom sort, data, sort, options, choose from the list, and it will sort them in that order. Same order as we typed them in. So that's custom lists and custom sorts.